Greetings, and welcome to part two of session number nine. Over, I wasn't just looking that up. I was just be trying to be dramatic, obviously. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll we'll come back in to Gorm Digdoglio and uh, Peter at the bar. What do we see at the bar? Yep. Two large drinks and a small drink. How many drinks did I get? You got one. Oh, that's disappointing. You're probably just I, finishing. You're probably the just to give me a second one. Um, you can try. <laughs> you can certainly try. You can certainly try. Um, is this a persuasion? Yes, yes, it is. Oh God. <laughs> Fuck it. Yes. Not only I that. Um, I think the bar. The, I think. Uh, I think initially size going. Ugh. Okay. The bar size. Yes. Um, the bartender grows under my massive weight, and uh, not only gives you a drink, pours everyone else a drink just to stop people asking for drinks. Um, nice. Is there anything that you do? Do you want to talk about anything, or do you just want to carry on drinking? I am probably just going to look out uh, on the bar, or like look out onto the tavern, and just. Uh... Look at people. Look at what's going on. Life. And... Yeah. Cool, cool. I well, don't really talk a lot. So. You should look at who's carved into the bar to see who loves who currently. Yeah, that's true. Who loves who at the bar? Random name generator, please. Yeah, like who's carved in like a love heart with two names into it? You know? Or just two letters. Mm -hmm. oh, it's D plus D and then a heart around it. Oh my. Yes. Uh, there's a there's a G there's a G and G in there as well. <laughs> um, um, here we go. Philip Park, Jordan Talbot, Roberto Blackwell. Uh, I don't know how to say that. Uh, shout out! <laughs> it sounds like a shout out list, doesn't it? Shout out to my Patreon subscribers. All my own fans. Yeah, highest tier Patreon gets you on the the bar of palm pie <laughs> with your special lover or not so special lover. Surprise your friends. Add them to the bar. Gorm would like to turn to Peter and uh, just look lovingly into his eyes. You mean say, second Peter? Don't you still look like him? Pardon? Don't you still look like him? Uh, no, that, that was just a brief thing to screw with his head. Oh, okay. okay. I, look, I look like Gorm now. <laughs> Good. I, I could do that, though. <laughs> Someone completely different now. <laughs> I, I just have to turn him as the barmaid. <laughs> I think that's why you got one more on your like persuasion check, is because you were like him but slightly more smooth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's my canon. I like that. <laughs> well, and then maybe when you go, get get your drink, first, you're just like ah, cat again. I let him go first and learn from his mistakes. <laughs> um, I'd like to turn to him and ask him. If he knows whether there's a tailor or a clothier around, someone that sells clothes, so for the particularly deceiving surning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Audience. Um, <laughs> um, uh, Peter, uh, you definitely know there is, by the way. Just so you. There you go. I do. Okay. You do. How do I know that? How do you know that? Because been... you've been here before. Oh, in a dream. No, literally, this is where we find you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I bothered. I, like, I thought I, I was a traveling dude. But... You are a traveling okay, dude, but you've spent enough here time for... here. Um, I think maybe for your like your last job for Mr. Powers, um, uh, you had probably did have to spend like a re reasonable amount of time here um, before you find all the, the information you needed to get okay. to to the ruins. What's the place called? It's called um, Tailcoat Tailors. <laughs> Rubbish. Boo. <laughs> wow. Especially what it's called. Is that what you say to Peter as he tells you? Rubbish. Boo. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, sure. <laughs> well, um, there is a slightly more high-end one um, somewhere around here, I've heard. 
Right. God damn. Sue so what? <laughs> um, it's yeah, a slightly uh, more so high end. Tail, tailcoat Tailors is the yeah sure that can be the 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 lower um the lower uh, one and uh, my one liners. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And so um, secretly a front a front a front for the SWAT team in America. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> the the other one is just called. It doesn't really have a name. Um, so what? Yeah. It's very interesting. And so what? It's next to the sure, sewer. Sure, I'll give you so what. So, so we have um. <laughs> Tailcoat tailors and so what? Okay. Tailcoat tailors. And <laughs> sue. What? Next to the sewers. So. There's the Sue so air. I'm like and... constantly vandalizing that sign and saying I'm still a rock star. And there's a so what sign. It's a non song. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> um, no. I think Tilda dies Damn. from the pun. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, no, so okay. what? It's not so yet. But how is this information? Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh god, there we go. She actually oh, would Jesus. have died. Yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> How is this conveyed to me? Uh, well, I could just start all over. Um, well, if you um, don't like um, this uh, slightly uh, lower end, there there is this place called <clears throat> So What? I'm still a rock star. Um, oh, me play... what, you got? So, <laughs> so, so, so me what? <laughs> Um, it's actually right around the corner, right? DM? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Star Wars knew it. So, uh, yeah, um, I could take you there if you want. I just need to finish this drink. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I need it? something, someone to distract from my nakedness. Ah, oh, yes, yes. I mean, I could always just put my armor back on, but I just never liked it. I see, I see. Um, Dig Dog Leo. I do have a costume in my backpack. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> I think I do too, maybe. I have a disguise kit. I literally have a costume. I don't know from what, but I do oh, have I, a I have a costume too. What kind of costume? Can I decide what kind of costume it is? Yes, do that in the background. Uh, Dig Doglio, what are you doing? Nice. Okie dokie. Right, did the other barmaid notice that flop that happened prior? No. Who? Uh, hold on. Okay, Unless right. you critted on your flop. Uh, well, I, didn't, I don't think I critted on my flop. There you go, then, no. Okay, right, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to flip a coin. Right now, head, heads, I do one thing, uh, tails, I try and flirt again. Here we go. <laughs> it's heads, right? Let's go rob some people. Or try yeah. to rob some people. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, oh, fuck. I think as you say that out loud in character, um... <laughs> 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 okay, yeah, no, Dig Dog, right? What, what, what's your plan then? Well, same as before, I'm, I'm going to assume that the, uh, the affluent uh, folk are still in the bar, yes? Um, I think maybe there's like there's like one left. Um, everyone else seems to be sort of leaving now that the music's died down and the, the you know the the, the party party tavern seems to be done with. Uh, they're all just sort of heading heading off. Okay, okay. So um, well, I'd, I'd like to try and rob this gentleman. <laughs> I mean... Do I see this happening? Do I see him trying to sneak off? Um... Well. Let's see. Speak. Yes, go for it. And you want oh, to... Oh, um... this is not going to go... Oh, wait, stealth, you mean, sorry. Yes. Mm -hmm. My passive oh. perception is 17. Okay. I mean, yeah, you, right. you, def you can see this, sure. Nice. I'm just going to, as he brushes past, I'm going to touch his shoulder and say, you can do this, and I'm going to give him a bardic, bardic inspiration. <laughs> what does that do? It gives you a d6, I think. Uh, yeah. In chat. Yeah, sorry, post, post sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Is it for a euro function which includes a... When does the inspiration die change? It changes, right? At some point? In your level up. I'll tell you your guards table. Uh, uh, it's a d8. Oh. Yeah, I'm level 5, so d8. d8 now. Oh yeah, okay. Sweet, so it's a d8. Wow. That, that oh, wonderful. Right. Good. So... I'm right. So what to do is roll your roll your, your pickpocket first, and then if you want to, you can add the d8. Um, and then I'll tell you what happens. You can choose to add it. You don't have to if you don't want to. Oh! Do okay. it, do it, do it. Yeah, just do it. Fuck oh, okay, right. Uh, slash R1D8. Oh! Oh, oh um, my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, the, the, guy, the, 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 guy, the guy notices and chops your head off and uh, <laughs> the game ends. The world's just a look. God. <laughs> He's like, how dare you defile my land? And no, the mask um, comes off at Tijor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look, I think you could steal anything off Tijor with that roll. Um, okay, yeah, so D Dig Dog Leo, you tell me what, what happens. See, I'd like for some comedic scene where this man just leaves the pub naked and thinks nothing of it. <laughs> to be fair, he's a cat. No! <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> too, too many naked people. <laughs> Well, too much. I have a loincloth, sir. A loincloth? A loincloth. Well, I'd, 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 I'd like to think I'd strike up a friendly conversation with him, shaking his hand like <laughs> flipping rings and shit off his finger. <laughs> it's like the opposite of Beyonce's song. You didn't yeah. like listen to her teachings. Like flipping I rings think, and um... shit off his fingers, talking to him, and that, like just nabbing shit from his pockets, and he's none the wiser. Yeah, I if think like as you better take a ring off it, <laughs> <laughs> and then you. <laughs> I I think he like as the, as you like the conversation goes on, he gets like more like into everything that you're saying. He's like, ah, oh, I can't believe it! I never thought of it like that. That's crazy, bro! My mind has been blown, my good man. <laughs> <laughs> Let me buy you. Do you know what? Just let me buy you a house. Um, no. Um, <laughs> Funny you should say that. <laughs> <laughs> Funny you should say that. I own yours now. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you do. You you like managed to get like um his like his house keys and uh, you know various other bits of tat. Um, I do an audio log describing where his house is. You get yeah. You get his you get his iPod with them. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's one of the the shuffle ones. <laughs> like one of the touchscreen ones or one of the old ones? No, one of the wee shuffle ones that you used to get. iPod. Oh now. yeah. And um, on it is you know directions to his house. It's like you live here. Take a left at the at the tavern onwards to the town hall. Then take a right. Um. Does it then break into an illegally downloaded version of the Silmarillion? You wouldn't steal a house! <laughs> you wouldn't steal a handbag! Um, you wouldn't steal a man's jewellery after he's being nice to you! It's the Silmarillion, all 12 hours of it, but just before the end it runs out of space. <laughs> and it's like really staticky as well, it's like... <laughs> really tinny. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Do you think I know what a JPEG is? <laughs> anyway, yeah, so you get like a whole bunch of stuff. Do you want to, um, do you want to roll a 1d10? Um, I would. Uh, slash R, 1d10. Yeah, you get, you get two gold, you get two gold from his, from his little thingy. Uh, okay. uh, it makes sense, you know, maybe he like has handlers who carry all his cash for him, you know. Okay, okay. <laughs> he has actual parse people. <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, and you know what, you get, uh, you get a, um, blood red, uh, dragon piece set, uh, dragon set piece. Hang on, add equipment, plus one. Plus... It's like the equivalent of what, uh, um, um, this world chess rook would be. Okay. Not a knight, no, a rook. A rook. Not cool. The tower. Ooh. 
castle. The tor. <laughs> tor. But I guess his house keys still. You still have his house keys, yes. Oh, wonderful. It has the address on them as well, in case he forgets. House keys, brackets. Or oh, at least watch. a house keys. Oh. I mean, like, whether or not it's his house keys, you know, who knows. Oh, he could be a thief as well. Yeah. <laughs> I like your justification. Oh, he could have stole this stuff. <laughs> it's like, why did you steal all this man's belongings? Well, he could have stole it. <laughs> Valid. <laughs> right, um, wonderful. I'm, I'm, I'm going to uh, bid him farewell and head back to the bar for, for, yep. <laughs> for a As that room. transpires, uh, Tokjar um, walks back into the bar and he's carrying um, a, a guitar. Like, a guitar. Keep yes. <laughs> Tokjar walks into the bar with his guitar. Um, I got it, I got it. And he steals your scimitar. Um, and uh, he, yeah, he walks in carrying uh, this sort of like slumped um, body over his shoulder. Uh, just dumps it in a seat and kind of props it up um, and kind of neatens it up. So and then walks over to the Define bar. Fine body. <laughs> oh, he's cool. <laughs> this was sunglasses on it, weekend at Bernie style. Um, if we were uh, watching the movie, it would look like um the same uh body of one of the like the people cha- like in the cart as they were running away from him and he just goes ah you can tell the big boy i've got his uh his uh, steed and he orders a drink at the bar office does people get, does he get the body a drink yeah why not he gets the body a drink uh office people being Tilda, Emu, uh, Ovek, and Hello. company. Hmm. Um, I motion for, like, obviously as I've walked through the door, I kind of go back to the door. I motion for Rob to come through to identify the people intimidated. I think um, Alexander and me had kind of assumed we were drawing a veil on the intimidation scene. Um, hence the fade to black for the break. Uh-huh. Yeah. So as not to go through a similar scene again. Um, yes. Um. And yeah, he 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 comes through. He seems like wh- when you maybe like go through to get him, he seems to have been going through all his drawers and stuff, and he's getting like he seems notably upset, um, and just relatively pissed off. And when he turns around, he goes, "Ah, oh, oh, it's 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 you." Oh, I certainly hope so. But could we perhaps borrow you to identify these miscreants? <sighs> Indeed, yes. And then he follows you. Uh, I think I don't think he would follow you. I think he would like, kind of attempt to like walk past and lead the way because this is his his place, and he's still trying to. I just step out the way for him. Yeah, I'm happy for him. Yeah, to just, like... he like wants to kind of in his head maybe maintain some sort of like. You can take all my shit, but this is still my house. Um, oh yeah, hundred percent. We'll respect that. Yeah, um, and he like walks through, and then maybe as he like passes. He sees Ovek and Emu. Um, maybe one of them point point him towards the the miscreants against the wall. And he walks I up. I feel like it'd be obvious, right? I feel yeah. like it's going to be so obvious nobody needs to point at MD. It's going to be the folk fair. pinned That's against fair. the wall that have possibly got like cartoon-like, you know, bruising. Maybe now. Who knows? We'll never know. Knees doing the... Um, <laughs> yeah, he stands in front of them. And he just looks at them, and he spits on the floor. Do you recognize them at all? Not one bit. Who are you, gentlemen? And um, they just kind of look at him and just go. Uh, what was what have we learned like before he came through? Sorry for the veiled interrogation. Um, basically, what you could get out of them without, um, maybe if, unless you, like, I don't, I don't know how far you went with the intimidation. We've, we drew a veil on that scene. Yes. So that um, so we can go... <laughs> But, um, what you managed to get, get out of them is that, um, from what they know is that they've been told a lot, um, they've basically been told what to do by the kid, um, and whoever is in charge of the whole operations is... They they have no part in it. They are just literally like, oh, we'll so get like, paid if we do this. Yeah. yeah, cool. I, um, like, I don't we don't, we don't ask questions. The last guy like, who asked questions got uh, 
got a got a dirk in the neck, you know. I think Olvek would have asked about money. Uh, first of all, to Tilda and Emu, just to see if they'd gotten anything from. Um, what's his name? Rod. Rod. Todd. Rob. Rob. R O B. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if I would have said anything because I think I'm just wanting the the atmosphere to be emu intimidating these next two guys because we want it to be like the that guy's collapsed and foams at the mouth. Yeah. You drag in two new people. We say, "Well, look what happened to your boss." Done, done, and, done. Yeah. Emu, in that case, I probably would have like whispered it or slyly tried to say it without them hearing. Yeah, like maybe like when emu's interrogating them, you yeah. come over or something. Yeah. Um, I think I'll just say that's currently under negotiation. Okay. And I just kind of pat you in the arm twice and say, it does seem positive, though. And then I think I would say, do we need more information from him and point out the body of the floor? I think I just look at him and I've got that kind of, hmm. I think maybe we see you it know, taking like a gasping, like, <sighs> like that. And uh, I think there's just, you know, like if you're on set with Tilda Swinton and somebody says something and she just got a really disappointed look on her face. That look. That's the exact look I've got <laughs> on my face. Okay. Um, because, yeah, I, d I don't know. I just, I think I just look at him and be like, oh, hmm. like the, I expected better. Kind of. From him, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can I sort of like go over and sort of like grab the boy? I think I'll just say, be gentle. He is um, almost quite dead, in fact. Mm. I think I'd just grab him, and I'd like to use Lay on Hands and restore five hit points to him. You only have to do one, by the way. Did I not brag? I know. Yeah, you know what? It's great. Yeah, we'll just do one. <laughs> He's just going to be alive, right? Don't really care. I'll give him one life. Okay. Oh. Um, yeah, he yeah, has. He takes. No longer unconscious, I guess. Then he he kind of like gets up and like <clears throat> sits himself up, wipes his mouth from all like the foam and stuff, and then he kind of looks down at his hands and goes, what, 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 what? and then looks up and his eyes widen as he sees you all back, and he's like, ah, hi. As he wakes up, can I just say, remember me? Um. And I think like his his voice is is definitely sort of like a little bit hoarse, uh, but he's kind of I lost. I have my hand around his neck as well. Just that's how I sort of grabbed him to do the layout. Okay, hands. and he goes, um, not squeezing though. I I I remember. Yeah. Hi, sir. Where's my money? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting story that. Um. Well. Uh. I look like I'm in the mood for tales. I think he just kind of looks around and um, coughs. <laughs> <laughs> um, got my num no, sir. Um, but uh, uh, I, I don't want to be the one to to break the the news to you. Um, he seems sort of like playing with his left hand. Um. And notice anything what in his left think? hand? Uh, yeah, well, is his hand like he's not got anything in it? Uh, he's got like a, a couple rings, and like that's about it. Um, and he looks, hands. he looks um feasibly like kind of frustrated and and just goes, uh, well, it's uh it's uh, it's gone, sir." And then he like kind of Where? choke croaks a laugh, um, and maybe bits of like spittle and um. You know, kind of some of the foam that was like kind of left over from when he was convulsing, kind of just like goes uh -huh. on you. Um, <laughs> uh, um, it uh, depends uh, when when we are. <laughs> um, uh, what well, depends woke when up. we are? Yeah, when we are? Well, he just woke, woke up. up. He could have been unconscious for days, for all he knows. Um, yeah, I think I woke up and just said, Your life now belongs to me. You tried to take it, and I claimed it. Can you perhaps elaborate so that you still have some worth? <laughs> worth? I've never had worth, ma'am. Um, but, uh, I guess I by now... She smiles at that, right? When you, like, he says ma'am, and she just smiles and says, 
no worth, but manners still? And she just smiles, shaking her head a little bit, as if, like, full disbelief. Yeah, well, there's no need for rudeness. I've, uh, lost my ace, I guess. And he holds up his hand, showing, showing off his little ring, one of his rings. Um, and, uh, he, he just kind of looks in, he kind of maybe, like, scrunches his eyes up and opens them as if to try and, like, regain, um, like, you know, wake up a wee bit. And he looks at Olvek and he says, <laughs> Um, sir, I'm, I'm obviously no threat to you. You could, um, possibly let go? No. <sighs> you have the information we need. Yes, yeah, so and you're gonna I... tell us. <laughs> I see. Um, see. And I think he looks over at Tilda. I mean, I'm, I'm fairly close, I think. I think I'm, like, you know, doing that, you know. If this were, like, him on the ground with Ovik's hand around his neck as he lay on hand and was in the, on the ground, and Ovik's, like, kneeling over him, I think I, I would almost be leaning on Ovik, but I'm not actually gonna lean on Ovik. Yeah. But it would almost be that kind of scene. Um, and I just sort of, like, start to squeeze him slightly as to threaten him. Because I just realized I can lay on hands as much as I want for the next 15. So, <laughs> so I you just keep kill killing him and bringing him back, again. is that what you're... <laughs> Not quite killing him. Just well, yeah, him just like... Die. Die. Yeah, um... Monsters to all of you. I think as you, as you choke, as you like kind of, um... It's justified, I swear! Yeah, as you kind of squeeze, uh, I think you feel him like n noticeably like... You know, if someone's choking you, you kind of like tense up your, your throat, he like notably just relaxes and kind of lets you squeeze. Okay, and then in that case I stop squeezing. Um, he opens his eyes again. Still holding him though, obviously. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. And he just he just looks at you, he doesn't say anything. I think I'll lean down, right, so I'll kind of like go down on my knees as well, like as in like, you know, squat down, and then just kind of stare at him, and kind of look look him over and say you could still gain from this you know you have so much you could live for if you decided to do something worthwhile <laughs> there's uh, there's nothing nothing left and he smiles at that like kind of like a uh okay like, it's kind of, that kind of like boyish like smile but like it's a very kind of sweet um Almost sincere smile, um, he does there. Tilda thinks for a second. <laughs> Fair enough. All of it does, T. Because... <laughs> uh, well, what I'll do is... Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was going to say, that. that was fine. Cut away from us, please. Yes. Yeah, um... Good. Uh, and, uh, I think we'll, we'll, we'll jump over to the... Tavern and Gorm. So, I assume I'm about to be late, but I have just been made aware of a key fact that may influence my future decision. I, uh... <laughs> I may have taken the key, and I may definitely did take the key to the man I did not kill. Uh, you did take the key to the man that you may or may not have murdered in the street with your mind. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to find out Stir. where th this place is and then just try and find this house. So I'd want to know where the shop was and not go in it for a future adventure. And then try and find out this house that I've just been magically bequeathed. Okay. Um... So yeah, do you do you let um I was gonna say Ovek, uh Peter and Dig Doglio know that you're doing this or you're just leaving? Um in my mind I assume Peter starts to lead me. And I'm like Oh to uh, the to the tailors. Yeah, and I'm sort of like uh, um well something's just come up um could you just tell me where it is and I'll head there myself. Um yes, uh, of course it's a 
down here, and then you take the first right, and then second left, and then third right again, and then you go straight for like 100 meters, and straight left, and then right, and then there you are. It's pretty Big easy. Turn. Wow. Oh. Tied of two circles. I love it. <laughs> yeah. He's like, totally... obviously, he's fine. The most complicated, he's just going in between every house. Um, whereas he could just like walk on like round the outer circle and just I get there. So good. That'd be such a Peter thing to do as well. Yeah, he's like I love used it. to these massive masons. He's like, there's no way there's an easy way to this place. And he's no, just yeah. found, like, the most um, weird honestly, way to get around the city. Like, You're like uh, the rich twins of bards. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, God help us uh, when we we end up in just like one single corridor. Oof. Oh God. Um. So about this house. Yeah. So do you, you want to? Uh, that's the wrong thing. Well, I thought I pressed the wrong I thing. Could, uh, list the missing persons investigation. <laughs> <laughs> um. Let's see, is there like a street? There isn't a street smarts thing, is there? Street wise, no. What is it you're trying to do? Sorry, navigate. Yeah, he's trying to find this house. Survival. Survival. Or investigate, I guess. It's arguable for both, right? Yeah. I'll let navigate, you, well, whichever one you want. But like, but... Investigate seems fair since he is technically trying to work something out. Yeah. Is that mainly just based on the amount of time it will take me to do it? Yeah, well, it will take you time regardless, right? But, like, survival for me is, like, I usually use it for navigating between places when you don't really have a clue. It's just, like, getting there while also staying alive, right? Yeah. Um, but you're in a town, so... Um, I think... Okie okay, dokie. Uh, I think it's... You, 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 you think you've got a vague idea of where, like, the residential, like, districty part is. Uh, and then you head there, um, and then you kind of look at the key and realize there's no like identifying number on the key. Um, even if I said there was in the past, that's a lie. Um, and uh, like you notice, like all the houses look the same uh, in this like sort of section that you're in. So maybe you try like... every door. Huh? Try every door. Uh, so I was, um, was going to say that you start trying doors, <laughs> maybe. Um, yeah, perhaps um, I knock on the first door, or see if anyone answers. Um, yeah, I think maybe like, a woman answers like the first door. Like, uh, I'm here on behalf of the bureau. Um, we're investigating a missing missing persons report. Um, this uh, unfortunate fellow has a. Uh, not been seen for three days. In fact, uh, there was a there was an event where many people were not seen, and there was lots of stuff happening with goblins. And uh, I digress. Uh, he's been missing, and well, we can't seem to find his house either. Could you point us in the direction so we may start our investigation? Um, he was a uh, average height, uh, average build, uh, average hair, uh, average eyes. Uh, you get the picture. Very easy to carry. That would be incriminating evidence. <laughs> about oh, about doing... Drake manhole sized. <laughs> <laughs> at, a, at a squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. Do you want to give me like a, a maybe a performance <laughs> or a, a, a bluff? If there isn't a bluff in this. A deception even? Deception. Yeah, deception. What the fuck is a bluff? Bluff. bluff. It's, just bluff. Weird. it's yeah, holdovers from other games. Uh, do you know what? I will. Just... Can you make the rule insight so that we can totally see how either bad that lie is or how totally believable that lie is? <laughs> All that's going to happen is I'm going to go to the next house and say the exact same uh -huh. thing. Uh, insight's <laughs> wisdom, eh? Uh, yes, it is. Okay, both. Oh. Oh. -ho. Uh, she goes, oh, well, I've. I've um, uh... I've not seen no bureaus and I've not heard any persons, uh, and then just closes the door. You're a naked cat. I scream. The bureau will hear of this. You hear like and another door slam with inside. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe maybe like the another door open from inside again and then like some like multiple latches locking on the door. 
Uh, yeah, I go to the next house. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, I, I guess a guy answers the door. <laughs> I'm from the bureau. Uh, <laughs> Maybe you okay. should disguise yourself before you do that next door. Oh. Oh. Yes. Um, you hear a I disguise myself <laughs> as the neighbor I just knocked. I door. knew you were going to say that. Okay. <laughs> do you want to? Are, are you just going to do the same skit? No. Okay. Um, I'm gonna. As soon as the answer is, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You know when you like you've forgotten someone's name, but you know them. Yeah. So yeah. you like say yeah. everything other than their name. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna be ah, like. yourself. Hi, 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 cool. Ah, uh, Greta, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, uh, not too bad yourself. Oh, God. I was, uh, Sorry, Greta, I was interrupting you there. God, I, 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 I'm here on business. Oh. Uh, my my nephew, you see. Um, I don't think I've ever talked about him before, but my nephew, he's a... Uh, he's, I think he's in a bit of bother. Um, bother, you say? Uh, yes. Oh, that's um, not so good. Yes. Um, do, do, do you know my nephew? He's, uh, he's about to... Uh, Average height, uh, average, average build, uh, average hair. You know. Oh, do you mean Joe? Uh, I think I do. Yes. Joe. Ah, yes. We we boys in the yard call him Average Joe. Average Joe's gymnasium. The wrong identity. Uh, yes. Oh dear. Could do you think we could go over to his house and you know, I, I'll go. I just, I just want someone to walk there with me, in case um, anything's wrong. Oh, here. Uh, do you want to give me, uh, I guess, persuasion with advantage? <laughs> uh. <laughs> do you Sorry. know what? Yeah, yeah. Um, and he goes, just two, two seconds, Greta. I need to. I've got, I've got potatoes on the boil. I'll just um. I'll just um, make make sure it, I'll just turn it off and I'll, I'll come out straight away. Um, and he like runs in, you know, takes like you know, kind of takes potatoes off the boil, I guess. Grabs his coat and runs um towards Average Joe's house. I, I imagine that the whole time where I'm just going, oh, I'm sure he's fine. You don't need to come in, but you know, I, I just I didn't feel I felt like something might be wrong and. The walk was what I, I, I felt I needed a bit of company for, you know, just just oh, in case. I know that, Greta. There's some rough right types. on the outside. You don't need to bother. But, uh... Oh, no, not to worry, Greta. That's fine. I know the, the streets are a bit, uh, bit iffy this time of year, you know. That's what I was the, thinking. The too. travelers, the foreigners as well. Oh. I wouldn't want you to spend too much time away from your potatoes. If they, if they go too true. soft, and they're not even worth eating, you know. Oh, How do I, I subscribe to this podcast, by the way? Like, <laughs> <laughs> just listen to Isles of You move to the island and everyone talks like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I think like on the way, maybe he like, oh, did you hear about Betty? Uh, she's having some proper health troubles right now, though. They say oh, she can't she even leave her bed. God liver oil, is she? Oh, she I won't. She won't touch the stuff. That's what I've been. I've been telling her. That's what it is. That's, That's what exactly it is. what it is. It's awful. Awful. Uh, and then you come up to this uh this 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 house um it's quite like it's a little bit smaller than like all the other houses in the in the sort of um district um you know sort of maybe more like studenty accommodation he's like um thingy so it's like multiple uh, um flats maybe in the same sort of like unit um and he More goes doors oh. to try. Yeah, that's it. Um, he's like, "Do you want me to walk you in, or uh, are you are you good?" I did think so at first, but you know, seeing seeing the house, it's it looks like I left it. Uh, I've been put at ease just just by your company alone. So I, th I think I'll just go in and say hello to my nephew on my own. No worries, Greta. No worries. I shall um, I'll speak to you. Uh, uh, later, feel free to pop round any time, you know. Um, aye, aye. Uh, but don't, don't uh, knock for a wee while, I think. I, I might be a few days here. Oh, not to worry. Um, 
I've been growing some chilies in my windowsill, you know, and um, they're growing pretty good. So in a couple of weeks, they should be ready. I'll give you, some, I'll drop some over for your, for your. I know you make a mean m- madras. Ah, you must have the details wrong. I'm more of a korma lady. Oh, that must be um, uh, this morag. Is <laughs> morag. Oh dear. So I leave. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. So he he leaves. I try the key. Um. So like the the like sort of like um main door thing is open. Uh, and, uh... And- and as you walk in, maybe there's like there's like four four doors, uh, two on each side of like a corridor, um, sort of like a close. Um, so it's like a tenement at four in a block idea. Yeah. Cool. Um, just try them all. What have you got to lose? You've went this far, but now be him. Yes, that's what I will do. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you for giving me the proper guidance I needed. <laughs> I trans. Fur myself and to him, and I am suddenly him. I know you can say that you've, and now you can say you've spoke to Greta. Yep, <laughs> this lady who I totally made up being the nephew of. <laughs> um, um, and I try the first door I come across. Okay, uh, do you want to roll a d4? Cool. Uh, the first one, uh, let's say it was like just the first one on the left. Um, That's what I was thinking. Yep. Uh, this, this girl just um, opens the door and she goes, oh, hi. Uh, oof, so, sorry. And I stagger a bit and, oh, oh I, 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 sorry, dear. I, I've had a, a bit too many at the pub. Yeah. There's, there's, this, this, this gnome. He was really good at fighting, and I lost a bit of money when he eventually disappeared. Just oh, turn me around in the right direction. I'll make my way to bed. Oh no, not not to worry. Um, which which uh, which room are you? Which uh, which which flat? Which which house are you in, sir? It's it's, it's me, Joe. I can't see stuff. Joe. Let me just write that down. Oh, sorry, I didn't have my glasses on there. Oh, Joe, um... Are, are so, you is she to... lying or does she just not know this fake <laughs> Joe? Who <laughs> <laughs> is, like, her neighbour? Uh, she no, she's like she's just like I think she's I just going along. With, you know when like, you you know when someone's just drunk and annoying and you just go with what they say. Uh huh. Yeah. 100%. To just get rid of them as quickly as possible, um, yep. she, that's what she's doing. She's like, okay, uh, which, uh, which, which. Just um... that maybe she's also stealing from this other woman's <laughs> house. That she's just. In. <laughs> <laughs> it's a luteous paradise. <laughs> and she goes right. Where, where, where to, um, Joe? Oh, uh, I think it's that one. I pointed the one opposite. Yeah, and she like goes. There you go. Have you have you got a key? Yes, it's this this one. But is that is that one not Mary's? Yeah, and she like she she look, she grabs the key and goes, "Oh no, you're down this one." And she like takes you to the one in like the the back right. And then she like she she helps you like along. Maybe if you're putting on your, like your staggering thing, and she opens the the she put, unlocks the door for you and opens the door and says, "There you, there you go, Joe." Also, you don't want her to help you along, FYI. <laughs> Oh well, that's true. No, but she like she takes you takes you there. The reason for that, Mangy, just so she knows, um, if she touches you, she'll feel your fur. <laughs> it's a really complicated plan that I have to track for you. <laughs> but no, yeah, I, I'm I'm more than happy for her to just like lead you <laughs> there, and open the door for you and go there. You go, Joe, um, and uh, just you know. What, watch Shake watch your yourself head. in the pub, please. I, uh, I, I, I think she actually takes a step I, uh, away from you. As you as you kind of like walk towards the door. I, I fake wretch in the hallway just to emphasize. She runs to her, her dorm. Her her dorm, her her, her flat, dorm. whatever. Whatever. Um dorm. She should have asked her, her name. Like sorry, lover, I got what your name was. <laughs> 
Um, so what do I see in this room? Um, uh, so you go in. Um, you, you've got like a, a just like a little sort of like hallway um, mock porch type thing. Um, you know, there's like a little shoe shoe stand. Um, and uh, as you like go in through like the secondary door, it's just like it's essentially just like a big room, um, with like you know a wee fire pit and like some some furniture, uh, and a bed, uh, and there seems to be like a like a toilety outhouse bit attached on, um, in a like a different room, uh, and that's that's really it. It's quite basic. Um, there's a window. <clears throat> I'm just going to take out my ink and parchment and sit down in the seat. And I'm going to start writing what I believe to be a very detailed note about how Joe lived an unfulfilled life. And this is him in first person. And then he's going to say, you know, I've had it. I've had enough of this place. All, but my neighbours don't even know my name. I just, I, just oh, I can't do deal with this anymore. I'm going to merge time. I've got a I've got a cousin in merge time. Gotta gonna make my way as a bagpipe player. And then um, I'll make take a mental note that before I leave, I'll post it through the neighbors' doors. But for now, I'm just gonna sit and chill. Okay. Um. Um, I'm trying to... Can you... Do you want to... Right, do you want to roll a deception? And I'll take a note of it. A literature deception. A literature deception. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Shakespeare uh, I am. <laughs> Average Joe's... Um... No. I guess that you find handwriting. examples of the, uh, you know, handwriting, I guess, right? <laughs> yeah, I think or maybe... A pre-written note that also said, by the way, I'm going to Merchton to become... He's like, you know... it's like a different town, he's like, I'm off to, to this other place, you know, to, to make so my convincing. fortune. It's so convincing, I convince myself I'm average Joe. <laughs> <laughs> you start believing you are average Joe. Average Joe, um, yep. Mangy, do you want to? Um, no, you can do this like any any time, but just just send me what it says word for word. Um, I'll do it through the week. Yeah, um, that'd be great. Um, and I was also gonna do like a, a fake auction where I sold it to myself. I, I don't know how that would work. <laughs> just to legitimize in some way that I'm somehow the owner. Um. I'm sure you could, uh, like, maybe if you... Or maybe, maybe Joe wasn't rich enough to own it, and he was renting it, and I'm just the new tenant. No, yeah, he's definitely renting. Um, yeah. You can tell by, like, the, the way it is. Like, I, you you imagine, like, yeah. there's probably a whole block of these, like... I don't know why I think thought he'd own it. <laughs> he'd he own this, like, single room. <laughs> um, <laughs> with... I mean, at least it has, like, toileting facilities, but, um... Uh, yeah, uh, that's fine. Maybe you could uh, have like a, a another note uh, left from Joe, like, um, to the the bureau <laughs> to to the bureau, <laughs> the bureau of tenants. Um, yeah, but no, yeah, that's fine. Cool. Are you just gonna like chill out in the? Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna have a short rest of some kind. Cool. That is fine. Yeah. Uh, we shall. Uh, we'll just we'll head over to Peter. Um. So for you, uh, you maybe like you've given uh, Gorm the directions. He just kind of ran off, um, to do his own thing. So you've kind of be left on your lonesome. Mm. I feel like it's not. I have an idea in mind, but I feel like it's not a very Peter thing to do. So I might not do it. Um. I don't know. I guess I'll try and find everyone, anyone else. 
I'm probably going to look for Ovik because he's the tallest, biggest, if he's anywhere. Or is he with me? No, he's like... in the the warehouse yeah, currently. Okay. I'll just um... walk around town and see if I can see a big, massive, or like a boom, boom. Inside so of fair, I, I did announce where I was, like where me, Emu, and Rob yeah, were going. Yeah, um, so you, you will know were like, we where. Were we performing at the time? I mean, Truck. yeah, but I feel like it could have been like uh, after after us all or whatever went until the okay. thingy. So I'm happy for you to know where they are. Okay. Um, well, with this, I'm gonna walk over to wherever they are in the warehouse. Cool. Uh, maybe you go in through like the the normal like reception door. Sure. Um, and you see like they're they're right through the back. Like and a shot. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Like a shot. <laughs> um. So it's a it's a pleasant reference. It is a pleasant reference. I like that a lot. Um, and uh, yeah, so and like the doors open, so you like go in and you you go through to the warehouse and you you see. Well, you see uh, Ovek holding this child by its neck on the floor with Tilda leaning uh, over him. Child in leather armor. Yes, he is in leather armor. Yes, covered in his suicide foam. I might add. Yes, he is covered in suicide foam too. And uh, but he's healed, right? I mean, he he seems to be alive. He's no, alive. Yes. By the skin of his teeth. Mm -hmm. Don't need anything else. Well, I mean, my natural instincts are probably going to kick in from being at that tavern brawl thing, and I'm going to be, oh my goodness. Um, do you guys need healing, or uh, he needs healing? Maybe, maybe. I, I don't know. Or are we? Or did you guys do? I this? can't just say I've got this. Yes, you seem like you know what you're doing. Um, you do know that this guy is probably about to die, right? Or... That is intended. Interesting. Yes, he tried to take his own life, in fact. We intervened. And just got to stand up and smile at uh, Peter. I think the boy gives out a little bit of that. <laughs> And then Tilda then thinks to herself, I really wish we'd used that entire scene Mangy had to think of a plan, but I was too busy helping Mangy. <laughs> I was too busy listening to Mangy. Uh, <laughs> um, so long as I put on a good show. And what we'll do is we'll have a very dramatic, as, as he kind of coughs and sputters, we're going to have a very dramatic um, and jump cut to like Dig Doglio like, um, coughing as he like sips his pint the wrong way. <laughs> That's an earlier reference. Okay, so what's the old, old man that I've just robbed blind done? He's just he's he's left. He was like, ah, oh, like I'd love to stay and chat, but I really got to go. I've got a, I've got a, a business meeting. Yes, tomorrow <laughs> that is, and then he leaves. He's gonna go back to his house, isn't he? <laughs> uh oh. Oh, possibly. <laughs> Okay, well, fair enough. Um, okay, so, so the bar's like quieting down now. Yeah, there's follow, maybe like one or two him. people left. Okay, so, okay, dragon chess isn't worth it. Um, I don't believe I have any armor. I've only got my dark common clothes, I think. So, I'd like to go and find a blacksmith of some description or armor salesman are you sure that's what you want to do or a barbarian i am a i am a barbarian very true i am going to just post something from your character sheet okay fair enough <laughs> um fuck i don't know what i'm gonna do i might as well just leave and try and find to... some of the others come to the warehouse um yeah, yeah, are you yeah, are you picking up your dragon chest set? Or are you leaving it in the bar? Oh, of course I'm picking it up. Okay. Of course I'm picking it up. <laughs> it's my moneymaker. Yes. Cool. It definitely um, is. <laughs> I mean, it is. Um, well, also robbing old men, but... Uh, the yeah, yeah. The I, I pack up my dragon chest set and wander out the bar. Is there any windows in this warehouse that I see any of the boys in? Uh, maybe like the the front door window you see like um maybe you see just Arm like Peter in. walk in <laughs> from like as you leave and go, Oh, yeah. And yeah, there's a familiar up. familiar thing. Maybe he knows where, where everyone is. Yeah, I'm gonna follow him. 
We also did tell them where we were. Yes, this is true. But yeah. this Dick Dog Leo we're talking about. <laughs> he was uh, swindling Alternative, people. I could go and try and find my dog, but none of us want that. <laughs> not even you. <laughs> oh, not, poor not, Barkers. No, no, ah. Barkers is fine. Barkers is just out here vibing. <laughs> Don't derail your own game. <laughs> uh, no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love Barkers as much as everyone else. Um, so yeah, no, he he heads. Yeah, you head on, and you see um, exactly what uh, Peter sees as you walk in, which is uh, Ovek over this this child in a uh, in armor, twelve year old kid, uh, and um, he's th as well, guys. Thirteen year old kid. He was like sixteen, wasn't he, or something? Oh, he was fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Sorry, I knew it was. I knew it was something like that. Uh, doesn't um, matter to Emu, right? Emu, right? You can beat them all up. Yeah. Matter. Age doesn't matter. Age. I was prepared to. <laughs> <laughs> um, with yeah, Ovek holding down this this kid in leatherish armor and his suicide foam, and uh, Tilda sort of leaning over them, and then Peter walking in, going, "Ah, he's you know, needing healed." I assume he walks in after me and Peter have had their exchange. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm I'm, I'm going to walk in after Peter says, worryingly says, uh, "Does anyone need heal?" I'm going to just walk in and say, "What the fuck." There it is. <laughs> hey, there we go. I think I'm just lost. Mark your bingo it. cards now. <laughs> you were getting worried it wasn't going to happen. Anyway, I walk in and say, what the fuck? Loud enough to uh, hopefully get yeah. the attention of these people throttling a child. And then uh, I say, after like moving my smile from Peter to Digsy, or Dig Doglio, and I say, we've been robbed, it seems. And then looks directly at Rob. <laughs> God damn it. And no, Rob's like, <clears throat> they were well, I'm, fairly I'm a... thorough. Well, I, okay. Well, if, we, well, if we've been robbed, then I'm going to uh, unwrap my sickle that I've not yet used in this playthrough. And I'm, I, I'd kind of like to hold it menacingly. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I, don't, I, don't, I like that it's wrapped. That's my favourite part of that yeah. scene. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only <laughs> use for special <laughs> occasions. Hang on a minute, guys. Okay. Right, there we go. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> a horrible choice. I was expecting more of like a, a you know, like cloth, like, wrapping, but okay. Didn't realise it was shrink-wrapped. <laughs> it's just it's one of those plastic, you know, hygienic seal things. It's to... a it's a sickle that you need a sickle to get the packaging off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, where's my where's, where's my great axe? Great axe out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get the nail clippers. Everything. All right, we'll get in. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, I I know the intimidation is already going. Wild, Who are you going to intimidate? That's my. Like, <laughs> That's I, I don't know that. I'm I'm going to intimidate this child that you're throttling even more. <laughs> okay. Fuck it, go for it. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Oh no. I think even Tilda takes a step back at that, right? Because, yeah. Yeah, maybe Dig Doglio's like, expression changes to something darker than anyone has ever seen. <laughs> um, and we've seen Dig Doglio do some fucked up shit in the past. Um, hey. Especially <laughs> like... Even... In this guy's throat. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think the kid just looks at you and... Um, Closes his eyes. <laughs> okay. He genuinely believes you are going to kill him. <laughs> like, does it look like you're going to kill him? Is that like what we see? Because how, like, how does your intimidate come across to us that are just watching this? Because well, I mean... I've got some pissed off crazy eyes, and I'm holding a sickle above my head, so. In that <laughs> case, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say something like, um, "I need him alive enough that I can bring him back. Don't go decapitating him." In that case, I'm going to very slowly sheath my sickle again. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wrap it back up and then stick it? I'm in not gonna wrap it back up. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put it. In <laughs> crinkles it back into plastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Creeps it back into the plastic, throws it back into the afro. He gets um gets uh, gets a, a brand new uh roll of um of like um what is it plastic wrap stuff that stuff like, like cling film, film. yeah and then wraps it up there we go um yep uh, oh, and 
of like you know see through plastic wrap. Yes, um, and uh, yeah, he the, the the boy just has his eyes closed still, and he's just looking. Well, into his eyes, I guess. I think I'll just say to like both of them. I think I don't quite think intimidation is the way forward with this young man. He seems to welcome death. <laughs> Okay. Um. What what? Well, what has this boy done? Uh, I I think um, Mr. Powers would uh would pipe in and be like, "You see all these empty shelves." I'm going or to I guess look um, around. Well. And you notice how empty all the racking is. Um, and uh, he goes points at the boy and he says. This was full, full of goods, ready to be transported and sold and given to people. I think all of that could just say, he took our payment. He took more than I thought anyone I could. <laughs> um. Yes, it does seem rather a lot for... Even three individuals to carry, they must have been taking it somewhere. Did we get that information from the two, like, muscle? Uh, yeah, so you you got, like, um, there was, like, they were just taking them, like, all over the place. So there was a, a maybe a, a couple park, cup parks. Carts went back to Merchton. Um, another few went on to, like, the surrounding towns nearby. And then uh, I think the, the kid actually said they were there. They took, um, taking some up to the ruins to, um, Kind of split up amongst themselves. It's the safe gone. Yeah, the safe's gone. That um. Can we find out where the safe is gone, specifically? I do not know. Can you? I I don't think the the two the two gentlemen that you um interrogated don't know. I'll give you that. Okay. And they seemed so... very willing to tell you everything that they knew. Um, and what you got is that they um, were just what happened to talk at this point. Talk went into the bar and said, "I've got your yeah. your friend's stuff," and put uh, one of the guys in the corner well, of the the, the bar. People that heard that. <laughs> so um, could we offer him shawarma? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's the scene I've got where Hulk's standing over him with a fist ready to punch him. Um. Oh. I think I just look at Emu, and it's a look of what is next, right? That's the look, and I'm kind of imploring Emu to take some initiative. With a Everyone look. roll initiative. <laughs> um, and then if there's no reply from Emu at all, then I guess I'll just say to Rob, could we perhaps have a talk next door? And he just nods and goes, hmm. No pun intended, obviously, because there's a talk next door. Um, <laughs> and then we... Um, and... So, so, like, do we head to, like, the tavern? Then? Yeah, I think I think um, if, if that was implied, he would, like, yeah. take you to the tavern. Because um, uh, there's, there's nothing in his office or anything like that. He's just... Thingy. Yeah. So yeah, they you walk back into the tavern and you see Tokjar at the bar and uh, an unconscious looking gentle person. Ah, you're back, Alexander. Uh, well, no, it's, you would like to stay in the other place with the boy. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Well, my look was for you to do something and then if you weren't going to do something, I was going to do something so that's why I went and did something. So we're good. It, it wasn't to follow or anything, it was to do something. <laughs> um, but she got nothing, so uh, she headed next door. But yeah, like if I see talk, um, does he like No, it's that we walk in or Uh yeah, I think he turns around and he gives you just a the East Star Wars nods and turns back to the bar and um speaks to the bartender and another few drinks are poured. Uh, and then he he shakes his head and uh and um <coughs> the the bartender brings out a, a kettle with some tea and stuff. So um I take like a motion for Rob to sit next to Talk um, at the bar, and I think I just stand like behind and between both of them, 
Um, so they're both like pivot round. So there's yeah, a, yeah. a wee triangle confab, you know. And uh, I say, are used to in league in some way that yous are also seeking the retrieval of a perhaps second artifact box. Now look between the two to see who reacts. Um, Tox eyebrows raise um, uh, and uh, I think Rob Powers, uh, he doesn't really, he just kind of looks at you quizzically as an artifact. Um, I think he would say that artifact. And then Tox would kind of be looking in between you and uh, Rob Powers. Because for my own clarity, I'm aware of the second box now, right? Yes. Based on the chat that's happened. Uh huh. So I look at like Rob, who's like, is he still trying to bullshit or is he like actually genuinely like, oh, what? Because didn't he, he's the one that told us about it? Well, he, uh, he said, he said, um, like, oh, there was a box and blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, because that's what he... Peter gave him. Yes, that is what Peter gave him. Um, yeah, but I think he's like the, I think the, the the wording of artifact probably is what um gave him that. It's why I said artifact and then box. To oh, did you say box? I I, I yes. missed that completely. Sorry. No, no, I I, I said both just so that he has a the frame of reference. So if he mentioned okay. artifact yes. and box, so they're both on the same page. Yeah. Um, I basically just like peel away all the BS between the three of us. And be like, yeah, that's fine. I, I just genuinely didn't yeah. hear you say box, so that's fine. Um, yeah, and the 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 gnome uh, looks up and goes, I don't know about this this man, but uh, I heard there was a a box of uh, power hidden in in some some runes here. There were some ancient texts and stuff, and I I wanted it. And, I and he starts. To talk, like, Do you know anything of this? Is this? Uh, all of your doing. It is not of my doing. Um, as you know, I was instructed to retrieve the box from you. Uh, By Leon, yes. Indeed, yes. Um, Are you able to open the box? Or boxes, as, as it seems to be? I am unsure. Uh, I was told very little about the box, you see. Um, I was... Uh, Bound to secrecy. I understand. She kind of like she's doing that thing where she's obviously, you know, that that gif I always share of Tilda nodding. And then, yeah. um, um, she's I like, think he stresses the word was as well. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and like she's she's thinking because she, I want to like have a moment to think about how to <laughs> word the request. But she says, if that is indeed the case, and the bond no longer holds you. Could you perhaps enlighten the path somewhat that I still have to walk as a result of your actions? And I say that to talk. Yep. Yeah. Um, and I think he he looks at you, nods, and then kind of looks oddly at um at Rob Powers and is like kind of squints and kind of looks at you, kind of maybe asking is this this guy an okay guy to be talking about sensitive stuff with I think I just look at Rob and then just look at a uh, talk and uh, I say please waste more of my time very well and he says um, Miss Heath sent me to collect this box of power that she was pining after uh, she's a, a powerful woman. Uh, yes, uh, she's the, she's the kind of person you go to, when, you've run out of options, and to make your your problems disappear. She's a. Uh, very good at that sort of thing, you know. And you uh, had problems, did you? Many, too many to count. Are they gone now? Oh, they're gone. But they were replaced. See, she doesn't she doesn't offer these services for nothing. Um and so she's uh 
for to to pay off uh, our debt to her she uh takes you into her employment as she likes to call it uh, and he, he kind of chuckles um until she deems your debt to be paid yeah sworn to secrecy yeah secrecy even yeah yes the secret sea he said secret sea yes i have to go to the secret sea um and I look to Rob as if if there's any enlightenment hitting him at any point, or if he's just like, oh, this is new. He's just like, I think he's he's like, kind of hanging on every word that Talk says, but it's it's not like, oh, I know about this. It's and like, oh wow, like, yeah, this is interesting cool. information that I've not heard, and I think but he's it a doesn't bit of... like he is on the same journey. Cool, that's fine. yeah. Um, and, um, uh, like after this, I noticed that between the two of them, I'll then say, "What more are you in service to her for?" I think he would look at you and say, Well, uh, at this point, I am no longer part of her staff. Uh, I think uh, she uh, definitely wishes for my uh, existence to be removed. And is that why we know Tizor? Tizor, I put you in the path of Tizor. That was my fault. Um, Tizor is enough of a threat to Miss Heath that uh, by being near her, my personal plans for escaping uh, servitude uh, could be easier um easily easily or easily or easier realized that doesn't make sense but more pretend that makes sense. more easily realized yes that's what we meant to say thank you and then um tilda asks in universe terms on a chart with nine options where would leo Heath's alignment fall i don't know how to word that yeah um <laughs> uh, i think he he says I do not believe she is altogether evil, but there there seems to be some sort of dark calling for her. She's uh, one to be reckoned with. And if you forgive the, again, an additional step towards enlightenment between the two of us, and she smiles, Yourself also? And I ask the same question of him. Says, where do I fall? At mm -hmm. this point, I wish to just live as a free man. Yes, but free men are capable of so much. So much good or so much evil or so much nothing of consequence. I'll look to Rob briefly and then look mm -hmm. back at Talk Char. Please, um, if you would answer my question. I can return I... the ball you of course he he just says um i i admit i am not what i would call a good person she but... laughs a bit and goes not many are who claim it more so but i uh definitely believe i am not of a dark evil nature granted that uh some of my past actions may suggest the contrary now, in general, for the whole conversation, can I roll insight? Um, you certainly can. Thank you, because I'm running out of questions. Um, yeah, that's fine. I, I'm probably going to spend my inspiration on this. That is fair. I, and it's probably going to be double shit, but oh, it's okay. No, that's that's decent enough. Um, you get from you get from the uh, you get from that that he's. He's basically he's he seems to be telling you what he knows, um, and he seems to be being truthful. Uh, you you kind of get the feeling that there's still that like real so fear. He's still holding back, or he's ho yeah. he's holding back, uh, and it, it seems to be sort of out of out of fear still from this. Mm. Uh, pr well, presumably this Leah Heath. Um, mm. 
I think with that then, if that's the vibe I get, I think I'll just say, do you still intend to give the box to your patron of sorts? I never intended to give the box to my patron of sorts. And he would grin. Then where in, where indeed did, did you intend the box to end up? I believe that a lost mystical artifact should probably remain a lost mystical artifact. I think Tilda smiles. And that's literally it. I'm happy to fade from her there. Yeah, that's that's fine. <laughs> um and uh I, th I think it maybe maybe it kind of like pans around like all of you and then finishes on um Rob Power's like eyes kind of wide with the wonder of this mad tale of like, you know, problem solvers and mm. inter eternal servitude for weird mystical beings who want artifacts and stuff and his, I think his imagination's kind of going going a bit wild. Uh, and then we fade on Emu and company. Man, I am liking like fuck. Um, I think I would, uh, Emu would like to um, just uh, close close in with the the victim. Um, oh my! <laughs> he's not a victim. He's about to be. Oh <laughs> and Elsa Rose. <laughs> she would like to say, like, sort of directly and very quietly, just to him, um, like, she would probably um, try and make it so that not everyone could hear. But obviously, some of these people have quite good hearing and probably would still be. Um, I'm just saying, you have tried to die, and that has not worked for you. We can make you the rest of your life very unpleasant. You will stay with us, and you will follow with us, and it will not be pleasant. This can be avoided if you tell us what we need to know. He, I think he just looks you directly in the eye. Or both of them, even. Um, and he, he, and he, yeah, he says, <clears throat> no matter what you do, it can't possibly be half as bad as what she'll do. And then we'll end there. Oh, he has no <laughs> idea. Can I just say you <laughs> what was that? Sorry. I want to bet. You want, you want to bet. bet? Yeah, yeah. And we'll kind of fade out there. Um, you kind of played flea bite into that character as well. Yeah. <laughs> Almost um, hundred percent ready just to like beat this guy ten inches of life, bring him back and <laughs> over and over again, um, fourteen times a day. <laughs> um, I think we'll have that like the ending scene, sort of like the. You'd have that that camera like kind of like pan up and have like an overhead view of the the boy and the 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 entourage there, and camera kind of like flies through into the bar and over Tilda and um or the talk jar and the the gnome, and then heads all the way over to the residential district with um our tabaxi friend, kind of just sitting uh, chilling out. Because it's gonna be like a an end credit scene of like me just. Heading to the shop to get some insta noodles. Mm. Yeah, it's like um, you've you've now integrated into the society. You have like um, good friends of Mor Morag, and I love her madras. Yeah, and um, you're like, like walking down the street, and uh, someone's like, "Oh, morning." <laughs> Hello. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, brilliant. So, oh, what do we want to name this Siachon? Oh, so many. So you what? <laughs> <laughs> there are so many things that it could be named, right? Yeah, I, I was quite so a much. quite a lot yeah. there. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Bond is a good one because we're now 
not paid based on the bond that we had, you know, the actual literal financial bond that we're supposed to cash in to get our money. Uh, Talk Jar spoke a lot about bonds. Um, obviously, Mangi's character is now bonded too much with the fake identity. <laughs> I got nothing else. <laughs> that's a good one. Oh, that's good. <laughs> 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 oh man you were killed sadly yes <laughs> but I lived <laughs> oh man I, I really like Average Joe's Bureau of Close Investigations <laughs> I know it's really long but I really like it I might say doesn't have to be my standards, remember? <laughs> Just because I don't like having long titles, you can have as long a title as you wish. This is true. Um, well, that seems to have the the two Sorry to one consensus. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, thank you guys. That was fun. I enjoyed that. Thank yeah. you. Yes. Really. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Thank How you are we all feeling? Of being home. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Right, I was well, laughing my arse off for the whole of that conversation. <laughs> it was good. I kind of, like, half of me didn't want it to end. It's <laughs> like, did you know what? This this is mayhem, but this is good mayhem. Nobody's being shoved down drains. Uh, nobody's causing, you know, destruction of public property. Um, or private property. Nobody's either. killing a guy 15 times a day yet. Yeah, no, yet. Um, yes. Nobody's killed once, to be Ooh. fair. So true. I would have I had right, to. Then. <laughs> I, I very much so wanted to kill that <laughs> child. Uh, yes, these, these are just statements, right? Like these are just such such powerful statements we make. Um, I was just waiting for him to take another suicide pill and uh, heal him from that. Because <laughs> I can cure, I can cure poisons. <laughs> <laughs> he really like he he was like he was like feeling so ahead of the game. And uh, like, haha, they'll never get me alive. Yeah. They'll let you die and then we'll bring I you am back. totally planning to take over the residential district one time, one city, one, one close at a time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, there's like, you know, you, you've saved this, this town from the, the threat of like, weird... Have we though? Aren't well, we the threat now? No, that's what I'm saying. You saved this town from that that threat of um, you know, pretend soldiers and fire and stuff, and then just replace them with the threat of yourselves. <laughs> I just like the idea of slowly becoming the landlord of the entire town with nobody really realizing, and then just one day I proclaim myself the the new mayor because I own everything. <laughs> so <laughs> you can't be mayor. So, Callum, how does it feel to dangle 1,500 gold each in front of our eyes and take it away from us and then realise what lengths we'll go to to get that back? Uh, this is... It's, look, I've given you I've given you the carrot and the stick. <laughs> this is how I get I'm you through plot. Looking. This is how I get you through plot. It's the only I've way. I've a home. I assume not. it's worth something. <laughs> I'm going to shoehorn this plot into you getting money somehow. It's going to happen. <laughs> It was so funny. Um, I took I, I took like an awful lot of notes over the week, like an awful lot. We did none of that. <laughs> it was great. I love it. Right, love you all, guys. Thank you so much for playing. That was a that was a joy. Much love to yourself. And Bidoof.